Good morning everyone and welcome to Mr. Ong Math lesson again. Today we are looking at the level 3 statistics paper, Probability Distribution. The paper title is 91586. Let's go! Okay, the first question asks you, you need to find a appropriate distribution when you have the probability is 0 0.45. So probability is 0 0.45 and the fixed number of trial which is 10. So number of trial is 10. That's why we have to use the binomial distribution. Okay. So you have a fixed number of trial which is 10 and you want to find a probability that at least 6 Ducini plant is to be grown from the seed. So to calculate the probability of X which is at least 6 means it must be X. Uh, equal or greater than 6. So we are looking at a probability of 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You can use P, P, D, uh, B, P, D in the binomial, but I suggest you do the, the cumulative. So we can calculate 1 minus 0 to 5. If you put in your calculator B, C, D and X equal to 5 and N equal to 10 and P equal to 0 0.45, you calculate that it's going to be, the number is going to be 0 0.7384. And you must minus 1 from it, and the answer is going to be 0 0.2616, and that will give you an achieve. Good. We will continue now. The next question is, we are going to find one assumption that may be invalid and discuss why this is the case. Okay, so what we've done that we can assume that it is a invalid, it's an independent event. A seed germinating will not affect another seed growing into the plant. So the condition that may affect the seed that growing include the following. The weather condition, it could be rain, enough rain or no rain, enough sunlight or no sunlight. Whether the animals or insects may destroy the seed while they are on the verge of growing. And finally, it must be also how often you water the seed. Some seeds will not grow if there's no water. So that uh, uh, assumption will give you either a merit or excellence depending on how well you argue your case. Great. Now we shall continue. Okay, the next question is uh, triangular distribution. Okay, the next question is a triangular distribution. So, uh, so they say that uh, it's able to reach 270. So, B is 270. The most common length is 220. So, that will be your C. And uh, the smallest number is 190. So, A is 190. B is 270. And the most common number is 220. So you need to know in a triangular distribution, the formula to calculate the height is 2 over B minus A. So this is your B, this is your A. So 270 minus 190 is going to be 80. So 2 divided by 180 is 140. So they ask you to calculate the probability. They are calculating the area that is less than 220. So this is 220, that is the area we are looking for. So to calculate that area, we use the area of a triangle. Area of a triangle is half times base times height, half the base is from here, 190 to 220 is going to be 30, and the height we found is 1 over 40, and put in your calculator, and the answer is 0 0.375, and that will give you an achieve. Great, now we shall continue the next one. So if the question asks you, is the median more or less than 220. So we have found that 220 was 220 was this area here, the length here. So if this area is 0 0.375, that's why that the median had to be further down the length. That's why we can say that the 220 is not the median. So this is not the median. The median is more on the right. So the median had to be larger than 220 and that's how you answer this question. If you can answer that, that is a merit. Great. We shall look at question 2 now. The question 2 is straightforward. Okay. So the first question in question 2 is, have a read first. They ask you to calculate what is the probability that is the claim correct that 10% of the corpse 
are more than 160. So more than 160 is this area here. So it's be 7 plus 2. The area is going to be 7 out of 7. No, sorry. Uh, 7 plus 2 is 9. So 9 out of 62. And you put in your calculator. And the answer is going to be 0 0.1. Four, five, two, and that is a simple merit. Okay, great. We shall continue now. So the question, next question I ask you is justify the use of the model of the distribution. So technically, if you can see from the graph, it is actually a normal distribution because first it is bell shaped. It is unimodal, has one mode with one peak, and it is symmetrical. So that will give you an achieve. And then we are going to use one calculation to calculate the one calculation we need to calculate from the observed from the previous question. We know that observed it was 0 0.1452. If we use the normal distribution to calculate it, the mean given is 152.3. They ask you to calculate the area that is more than 160. Put in your calculator. So you need to go to normal distribution. And then you're going to calculate the lower is 160, the upper is could be any number more than that, maybe 10,000. Put the standard deviation is 7 and mean is 152 and they come up with this answer, 0 0.1357. So this number, the theory, the observe is similar to the theory and that's why we can say that normal distribution is a good estimation for this distribution. That will give you a merit. Okay, next question. So they say that the the this is the super sweet and embryo sweet. Ask you to draw the graph. They say that the the mean the the mean is one forty nine. So that's one forty nine here. Okay, one forty nine, and the distribution has a standard deviation of four means it is more, less variation, so it's going to be squeezed, and that graph will be drawn, and that will give you another merit. Because the distribution is not so spread out, so it's raised up like that. Great, we continue now. Okay, so now, we the next question asks you, compare the normal distribution of super sweet and the embryosa corn yield per corp. Okay, so we can see from the graph, and as well as the distribution, they say the super sweet yield is 3.3 gram higher than the embryosa. The super sweet was 152.3, while the embryosa 149. So what does this show? This shows that super sweet corn has a larger yield than the embryosa yield. That will give you a, a cheat. And then we compare the standard deviation. The standard deviation was also the super sweet is larger, this time by 3 gram means that the super sweet has more variation than embryosa. Embryosa is more consistent, therefore the super sweet is less consistent than the embryosa. The embryosa are all the same size, the variation is less, so that's why if you get both these right, you may get merit or excellence. Great, now we shall look at the last question, question 3. So of course we have done the normal, we have done the binomial, it has to be a poson next, okay? The mean number of wheat is 6, and they question ask you more than 8. So this must be a poson. So the lambda or the mean is 6 wheat per meter square. So the question asks you more than 8, so x greater than 8, so they are looking for 9, 10, 11, 12, and so forth. And you need to calculate 1, take away the number from 0 to 8. You have to do a PCD, your lambda is 6, your x is 8, and then put in your calculator, and the answer is going to be 1 minus 0 0.8472, and the answer you'll get is 0 0.1528, and that is a simple achieve. Okay, next one. They ask you, what is the probability on 5 different square meters? Okay, so when they have 5 different square meters, so you need to calculate the lambda is still 6, okay? They want to get at least 4. So it must be 4, 5, 6, 7. So you take 1 minus 0 to 3. Put in your calculator, lambda is still 6. X is 3. 
calculate, put in your calculator, and the answer is 1 minus 0 0.1512, and the answer is going to be 0 0.8488, and that will be achieved. But they say in five different square meters, because you have five different floors, you must put 0 0.8488 multiply five times or part of five and put in your calculator is going to be 0 0.4406 and that is the merit. We shall continue now. Okay, so consider an assumption you have made whether this assumption is likely to be valid. Okay, so we are going to make assumption that they are independent event. If the five meter plots or the five different plots are Put close to each other, the wheat can easily spread to each other between the plot. That means that the wish is each plot is not independent of another. So please remember that. If you're not sure, go to the marking schedule, and that is a better explanation to give you a merit. Okay, the last page. Now we are going to calculate, given this graph, we are going to calculate in 30 separate areas what is the average number of wheat. So the same thing. You need to know, you calculate 1 times 1, 2 times 5, 3 times 6, and so on, and 10 times 1, 11 times 0, and divide by 30, and the number of wheat is 4.1667, and that will give you an achieve. Okay, now the question asks you, what is the chance that 10 wheat will be found in a garden plot? So you need to calculate but has an area of 3. So if 1 meter squared is lambda is 4.1667 to get lambda for 3 meters squared you multiply by 3 and they will give you 12.5 wheat per 3 meter squared. So to calculate the probability you are going to just use the normal PPD because this is the point x equal to 10 put in your calculator PPD lambda is 12.5 x equal to 10 and put in your calculator and that will give you the answer and that will give you a merit. And of course, the last one you should remember by now, what, how to justify the distribution in the exam is, is always asking you the justification of both boson, binomial or normal. So this is just spit it out, memorize by heart. So for a boson, it's a discrete in a continuous interval of space, number of width per one meter squared. It is random, wheat growth occurs randomly and unpredictably. They are independent events, one wheat growing will not influence the growth of another, and number of wheats per 3 meters squared will not be found at a constant rate. So keep practicing, and if you practice hard, to get an excellence in this paper is not too difficult. In this paper, there's a mixture of calculation as well as some justification. So good luck in your NCA this year, and see you soon.